Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a happy Thanksgiving. I wanted to uh, talk to you about Joe, the man that talked to the gentleman in the hoodie that was at the food truck the night with the two girls from Idaho, right? So this is from the Daily Mail. And I guess he had spoken with Daily Mail. So I know that he has spoken um, with somebody else, I forget who. And I know that he has spoken out on, I believe, uh, a social media platform as well. But I'm not sure that he said one of these parts, right, of, of what I'm going to read to you. So I just want to go over this real quick with you. Um, so this says, new details have now emerged about um the the two girls so um Kaylee and Maddie right last night out from uh out wait what does it say out from oh oh have come out from Joe a local man who saw the two co-eds out on town out on the town in the hours before the attack police had previously said that the women were partying at the corner club bar the night before the attack Joe was also there and said that the women we're catching the attention of many of the men at the bar. Quote, a lot of guys were talking to them at the corner club, he told DailyMail.com, adding that Kaylee was visibly drunk, the taller girl with the pink on. She was glass-eyed. I audibly said, ew, out loud. She was just stumbling, though, or stumbling through. Uh, he said, he left the corner club ahead of the girls and was with a neighbor who had just moved to Moscow, showing her the grub bus, a food truck popular with students with the late night munchies. Quote, I was just there waiting because the grub bus takes forever when a bunch of drunk zombies show up there, he said, nothing, noting that he was 100% sober. Uh, that's when the women showed up with a guy in a hoodie. He has been the subject of much speculation among internet sleuths as a suspect. Police haven't not named the man, but said that he is not considered a suspect. I saw the hoodie guy show up with the two of them. The vibe I got from him is that he's super nice. He was trying to help them get home safe, Joe said. Joe defended the man as a dutiful chaperone who may have had amorous intentions on his mind. He was funny, he was nice. He was there to make sure that they got home safe because they were super drunk. I thought that he was a solid guy. Believe me when I tell you that his vibe was not bad. While they were waiting, a bunch of fraternity guys showed up. I was making fun of one of the guys who showed up at the grub bus in short shorts and a tank top and was cold. Joe said, I said, relax, bro. Some of us are single. That made everybody laugh. And then he made a joke. He said people were just talking and chatting, waiting for their food orders. Kaylee and Madison were hanging around the truck window, hounding people who were picking up their orders. He said it was then, here we go, that a dark four-door sedan showed up. A guy got out and yelled, hurry up, Joe said. I saw them get into the car and it looked like they just ditched him. I said, bro, they're leaving. He said, what the F? And I said, sorry, brother. The grub bus cashier had mercy on the two women and handed them food and they took it and ran to the car. I said to the guy, did you just give those girls food without them paying? He was like, yeah, they had to go home. The day after the news of the murders broke, Joe realized that he had some information that police could use in the investigation, so he reached out to the authorities. The only thing that I was able to do is verify the timeline and tell police that they got into the car, he said. The driver of the car has also been eliminated as a suspect by police. Joe said that the case really hit home with him. I was there, and I have a little girl, and at the end of the day, a dad's going to go through Thanksgiving without a daughter, and that really hurts, he said. So I know that he had said he was the one that was talking to the hoodie guy. 
And I also had heard reports that he had said the guy was just trying to chaperone them and to help them out and that he thought that the guy seemed to have a pretty good vibe about him. I've never heard anybody mention anything about a dark colored sedan showing up, um, a dark four door sedan showing up and that a guy got out, right? So now we know that it was a guy, not, not another girl, uh, but that it was a guy that got out and yelled, hurry up to the two girls. I've never heard of all discussions and everything. I've never heard that before. So um, I just figured that I would let you guys know that that's at least what he told Daily Mail. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe you guys have heard it before, but um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Rather interesting. No idea who that would be. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> Again, then it makes you just more confused because like, who even is that guy? People say he's like, not, he may be Jake. He's not Jack. Or he's like the other Jack or I don't know, man, ever, there's so many Jacks and then there's a Jake and it gets rather, rather confusing. So I don't really know, but who the guy was in the four door sedan, but regardless, police said that they have considered him to not be connected. So I guess we just roll with that, but I figured I would let you know this information. Um, I have a couple more, um, things that I need to cover. So I'm going to record those and I will put them out as well for you. But I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a really good Thanksgiving and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.